All right, let's try this again. It keeps uh, it keeps cutting off because of the um, the actual SD card is not good enough. So all I'm doing right now, I went ahead. I, I've got all the um, the actual um, brass fittings glued in with that JB weld. Two on the one on each saddle, and then two in the uh, jet. Uh, and then this is the fittings that screw on and all I'm doing right now is putting a little little uh, O-ring lube on these little pieces here. It's essentially just the It's a little uh, It's a little seal uh, a Little plastic ring with a with a rubber seal in there and that'll keep it from uh, it's just like any other um, any other thing with O-ring on it when you're screwing it on. If you don't put any lubrication on it, you could tear the, it's probably overkill, but you know, kind of like an oil filter. You know, you put a little oil on it when you screw it on to keep it from uh, tearing it or anything, breaking the seal or something like that. And the ones with the, with the eight millimeter fuel line on it are the ones that actually um, go on the, the pickups uh, for the main tanks. Um, I went ahead and cut them because uh, I pulled the actual old stuff out. Now there's no Tigon except for the little fill lines on the UATs. But that's fine. I can, I can always change it. Excuse me. And then uh, uh, now I've got to make the, the clunks. So, because they're going to go on here. And I'm using the the BVM little little press or uh, retainer clips here. Just take a pair of pliers and squeeze them, and then move them where you want them. It's easier than lock wire, um, so and it gets a good complete rounds, you know, good seal everywhere. But uh, yeah, that's it so far. Um, the camera, the last videos I did, the camera was being real goofy, uh, like I said, because if you turn, if you turn the um, the quality up as high as it'll go, it'll um, <laughs> the, the basically what happens is the SD can't record fast enough. The little SD card can't keep up with the camera, so it tells you to upgrade your camera. Or, or only other thing you can do is turn the the quality settings down. So. So I'm just going to pull these off, uh, these clunks off, cut new BVM uh, clunk line. And my only complaint with BVM a lot of, sometimes is the way they package their stuff, you know. So you got the high flow clunk line, you get two feet, you know, I wish you could just specify what you would want. So I probably need a couple of these, yeah. Yeah, every time I go to an event, I pick up BVM like this. Like when I ordered, when I ordered some of their four millimeter tubing, uh, I ordered a bunch of it, and they chopped it up into like two foot sections. When I wanted, when I when I thought I was just ordering it by, you know, like how by by the you know by the foot that I entered, and it wasn't that way. It's just I mean, it is what it is. So, but, all right. But the the back's starting to get to me, so I can, I'm not going to do too much tonight. I'm just going to I'm going to go ahead and cut new. Uh, I'm going to use the old original length. Uh, of course, this stuff shrunk quite a bit, so I made. I'm, I'm going to verify um, this, and I don't think. Let's see, this stuff isn't supposed to, and it's still pliable. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's going to move around, but like, like I mean, that's stiff. You know, in the saddle tank, it wasn't moving really, you know. Um, but it has been in the tank for nine years, so note to self, don't wait nine years to to check your and change your fuel system. So, um, but yeah, like I said, I, back's getting a little little uh, picky right now, so I'm just going to, I'm going to cut these new tubings, put the put the, the new clunks on them, and I will put some some lock wire on the clunks and on the inside uh, piece, that way it doesn't ever come off. 
definitely always want to secure them on the inside. So if they do expand or, or get, get hard, they don't just come off in your tank. And then uh, I've already pressure tested these two and I was trying to pressure test the, the, the main tank with, with these new fittings on there, but I couldn't get the, the hole clogged well enough with my finger. So I'm gonna put these on, get them tight, and then just plug the clip off the hole, the, hole, uh, the line and blow in uh, the vent lines or blow in this and plug off the other ones. So just to pressurize, make sure it's, I don't have any leaks. And then uh, it's put it back together. Um, I, I need to, I, I didn't bring them out here, but I've got uh, a new set of these, these struts that, that uh, uh, a guy named Michael Brown, he's uh, really good at CAD and machining things. And he made a new set that has a stop on it. So it won't go that way. It'll, it'll, it'll fold up on itself like it's supposed to, but then when it comes down, it actually won't go past center. So it'll hit. So if you have a gear that slams down, it won't go past center and pull this and break this air cylinder. So that's one fix. Uh, but the biggest, like I said, the biggest problem with this was the, the plastic uh, clevis, which I'm gonna see if the metal ones I have will fit on here. And then of course, this pulling apart because there's only like one or two threads in there because uh, they're so tiny. But as long as they fit and, and, and work with this gear, I'll go ahead and put them on. If not, I'll just pull them off. But it is about time to put it back together. Um, yeah, so hook everything back up and then this one will be done and I can jump back uh, on, um, on the actual F22. I mentioned in my other video, the other videos are all butchered because the camera kept cutting off. So I'm gonna upload them. But I was asking people, you know, what they thought about putting this piece back in there. It's real, it's real flimsy. It's almost like paper. But it just, like I said, it just directs the air closer to the turbine, but I don't really see the need for it at this point. Uh, because once it's past this point, the air can go out into this cavity all at once. Uh, so I don't think it's really needed. It's just, it's in the way. I can't get to stuff a lot of times. It has to come out when you do any kind of work. So I'm just gonna ditch these. A little less weight, uh, but not enough to really even care about, honestly. So if you think I should, like I said, it doesn't have a full bypass. If there's something that you think that it should be in there for, let me know, because my brain doesn't always think the way others do, and there could be a, a reason why that's there, and I just can't think of it right now. So, <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to get uh, finish up this little bit and call it a night, and you guys have a good one. I'm going to get the other videos uh, uploaded, and um, I'll keep at it. The new camera is going to be great, I think. This setup is going to work. So thumbs up. Thanks to everybody for giving me feedback on that, on, on that and how it's looking. And uh, tell your friends, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm trying to build the channel. You know, I'm never going to be one of those crazy famous YouTubers. But it would be cool if I could get to a point where I could make a little money. Because I'm um, thinking about closing down my side business. And just being going back to being a, a normal hobbyist and building and doing videos do that way.